Have you thought about how moving to the cloud will affect your company's functionality? Because it can and it will and not always for the better. Gay Hamilton of Go Innovation deals with that all the time. Uh, Gay, thanks for talking about this. What issues do people face when they switch to the cloud? Thanks, Craig. Um, well, and it, it, it's an interesting point as well, is that who's making the decision that you're going to the cloud. So it's one thing if you have a software solution that you're running in house and you decide to move it to the cloud, it's a completely different discussion when it's a software as a service or a SaaS um, software application that you're using and the company that's providing it decides to move to the cloud, in, in which case it's a, it's a completely different perspective for the customer. And what are the, uh, what are the effects of of that decision? Um, well, the, the effects of the decision are um, generally it, it messes with any kind of enhancements, any kind of custom software that you've built around that SaaS application, you're going to lose it when it goes to the cloud. Um, and a lot of companies are really upset and really up in arms about that and don't realize that there's still an opportunity to build that custom software and have it interface with the SaaS application after the fact. So then we pull the data back down from the cloud, redo it, rejig it, create KPIs, so key performance indicators, or you know, increase visibility, whatever it is that your company needs in addition to the SaaS, SaaS software. How long does it take before you know you have a problem when you've moved to the cloud? Well, it's pretty much immediate. And in a lot of cases, you would know as soon as they announce that you're having to move to the cloud, you know what that impact is going to be. It's going to be right in your face really, really fast. Um, but that that provides you the opportunity then to build the custom software, to have it in place and ready to go once your move to the cloud has been completed. And, and generally, the SaaS companies are willing to work with you on that time frame to allow you the time to prepare and to build whatever you need to build on your side to, to continue on dealing the way you're dealing now. What solutions do you provide for people who are, especially if they've been forced into this, right? You're going to the cloud. Well, we don't want to go to the cloud. Well, you are. And, uh, you know, just deal with it. How do you yeah. help people in that situation? Well, and again, that's an interesting question too, because I think in a lot of cases, big companies with a lot of clout figure that it's my way or the highway. And in some cases, the customer will choose, okay, I'll take the highway. Um, in which case we can build a custom application from the ground up. We can take your existing application and modify it to, to suit your requirements for today. It doesn't have to be a my way or the highway. You can you can choose the highway and still and still get a very effective, very good solution. So even in this sort of traumatic standoff, you can give people options either way when they're oh, yeah. adopt to the cloud or if they decide to go their own way. 100%, 100%. You're still in the driver's seat. You're still a customer and you still get SA. What's yes. the best way for people to reach you? Uh, the best way is probably uh, via email, which is hamilton.gay at goinnovation.ca um, or check out the website. The website, there's links to get to, to, get to me or to get quotes. Yeah. Well, thank you for being uh, being some company's lone ranger and coming to the rescue when uh, when they're in trouble with the cloud. Thanks, Craig.